is 7.8 noise pollution. So our goal today is to describe the human activities that result in noise pollution and the effects they have both on humans and wildlife. So first, let's talk about some sources. Where is noise pollution coming from? So a big part of noise pollution is transportation, which is why noise pollution is typically higher in urban areas. Um, transportation can be buses, um, the underground trains, it could be airplanes living near an airport. People who live near a highway may, may suffer from a lot of noise pollution and hear that highway noise quite a lot. It could be boats shipping and moving things around. It also comes from construction. If you've ever been near a construction site, that's quite loud. Um, and domestic and industrial activity. So this could be things we're doing at our home that may be loud. Um, industrial activities such as searching for oil, particularly when we're doing this, um, looking under the ocean for oil deposits causes a lot of noise pollution for those ocean creatures. So why do we care about noise pollution? Why could this be considered the next big public health crisis? Because it causes stress. I don't know about you, if you spend any time trying to sleep overnight in a city when you're from a very quiet area, it is stressful to hear that noise. Garbage trucks in the morning, buses, cars driving all night long. It gives me major stress. That's why I live in the woods. It can also cause hearing loss. So if you're exposed to frequent high sounds above 85 decibels, you're going to suffer some hearing loss. So I know you spent a lot of time near the sirens when I was an EMT, definitely contributed to some hearing loss. Wildlife suffers a lot of the same things. It can stress them out to have constant um, noise pollution. It can make it so they can't communicate or hunt because the sounds of the noise pollution are louder than the sounds that they use for communication or hunting. They have very sensitive hearing, particularly aquatic animals. This can damage their hearing, and it also can cause them to change where they migrate particularly birds and whales. We have shipping lanes of heavily trafficked parts of the ocean that interfere with migratory routes and whales are going to avoid that in an effort to stay away from the noise pollution, but that changes their natural migration. So some of the ways that it can mask their sounds, we know that ocean animals use echolocation or clicks and whistles to communicate with each other and to hunt. And with the amount of noise pollution. So you see some of these are 200 to 250 decibels. Above 180 decibels, this is very loud. For us, it would be detrimental to our hearing. And for them with even more sensitive hearing, it can cause substantial problems. They estimate in the Puget Sound, some whales can lose up to 90% of their ability to forage when the oceans are heavily trafficked. Here's an example. As I mentioned before, some of our methods to search for oil deposits can lead to heavy amounts of noise pollution. So using air guns produced sound waves to hit the ground and look for changes in the density is a big problem for animals that also use sound waves to hunt. I wanted to slide in light pollution while we were talking about sort of more unconventional types of pollution. Um, I saw this article just a couple days ago about turning your lights off to help birds migrate safely because light pollution can disrupt the normal patterns of hunting, sleeping, and wake cycles for a lot of species including guppies. So light pollution causes risky behavior in fish. The study found that um, guppies were exhibiting strange characteristics and strange behaviors at inappropriate times because of so much light pollution. So our desire to have everything lit up is a big problem for, for a lot of the environment. Here's a, an issue with flowering bushes. So this sign is lit up at night, so it's upsetting their photo period when they're normally exposed to light and dark cycles so that they know when to flower. So those plants are never getting darkness, so they don't know when to reset and to start to flower. So our goal today was to describe human activities that result in noise pollution and light pollution and its effects. We find that noise pollution comes from many sources, transportation, um, construction, and in humans it causes stress and hearing loss, and in animals it causes the same thing, but in addition it impacts communication, hunting, and their migration.